I just don't know what to do to him. I'm just thinking, you no, know, my friend advised me that since I be bo babe, that I should travel, I should just go to one or two places, go and put his name there, whatever he's seen, he should take it. But me, you I'm, should, you should ah. put his, uh, his name where? In shrine. I just want something that I want to destroy him so that in his next life, he will not toy with any ladies, any lady's feeling again. Because this man, this man has dealt with me. Is it my money that he's spending? Is it the miscarriages, the pains, the pains, the pains? What's up, guys? Is a girl nene baby guys i have a woman here with me this woman is in pain like she needs advice from us she contacted me she said she need, there is something she wants to narrate to my audience that she need advice please let's listen to her story and also advise her don't mention your name just go straight and narrate your story okay when i met my my husband when i met him that was when I just finished from school, though, started working. I met him. He wasn't working. He was not doing any business. He was not hungry, though. He feeds himself. He eats three square meals. So when we started dating, we started getting along. We fell in love with each other. I don't know. Mine is love. I don't know what I should call what he had for me. So... When he said he wants to marry me, we went to my dad. My dad was like, he has nothing doing. I was like, that was when he came and left. Though, I told my dad, ah, that he has what it takes to help me put him up, as in, to help me build him to that in law that he wants to have because I'm my dad's only daughter. My dad is married to two wives, but the first wife had no kid. My mom had three children, two boys and one girl. That is me. I'm just big. By this this year, I will be 29. But this has been my nature, chubby nature, ever since I was a kid. So when I pleaded with my dad to... Sorry, you'll be 29 years? Yes. You get body. Mm -hmm. That is how my mom is. So when I pleaded with my dad, my dad refused. He said that any man that is willing to take a wife should be able to fight for his family, to to have money to take care of his wife, not depending on his in-law's money or for the in-law to set him up. You know, I, I waged war against my father. I started disturbing him. I stopped picking his car. I stopped, you know, eating home. I started misbehaving. At the end of the day, my, my dad gave in to what I wanted. And he helped my husband. He got a job for him. A job that he's been paid 350,000 naira. That is how we started. Monthly? Yes. He's paid 350,000 with other allowances. That is how we started. So... At a point, he came, we we got married. He's from Ogun State, but I'm Igbo. We got married. I know his parents. I know the siblings. I know a few of his friends, not all, though. So when we got married, even with the fact that my husband was working, but my husband doesn't bring any money home. Before, when, Whenever he gets paid, before you know it, the money is finished. And I don't see him doing any investment or anything. And secondly, he's not paying for the apartment where we are living. Because my dad, we are living at my, one of my dad's um, houses. And he is collecting the rent money there. Who is collecting the rent? My husband. My father handed the property over to him to be collecting the rent. When my father handed it over to him, my, my husband increased the, increased the, the rent. He added extra hundred thousand naira to the rent, and the the tenants they they they, they were not they didn't complain because the building is worth it. My dad knows that he my dad never depended on the money he was collecting there. He was just he, he rented that apartment out in my name. So when my husband started collecting the money, that hundred thousand naira that he added to that money is his. This is um three. 
we have three tenants because it's, it's four flats. I and my husband were making use of one. White tenants are in the other three flats. So he will collect this money. He will not use it to do anything. I will not see him with money. Before you know it, he will say he don't have money. And he will still ask me for money. So I felt like when I complained, he said his parents are sick. That he has sick parents that he's taking care of. And he has his younger sister who is at the university. I understand perfectly well that the uh, the sister is in school, which I'm aware of. But he won't, he won't tell me that he's... The sister that he's spending half of the money and the, the remaining one is spending it uh, at his, uh, for his parents. Knowing fully well that he's married, he has a home to run. Okay, when we start, I was like, I asked him one day, when I have, when we start having children, is this what you are going to be doing? Like, you will not be spending for your kids. I will be the one to be spending for them, taking care of the bills and other things. Because not even food, he doesn't provide anything at home but he's working he's working and he's earning and i never want to complain i didn't complain to my dad because i myself am working i'm earning my own money and my dad also he pays me monthly allowance there's some money that my dad gives to me every month so i don't complain i just don't want to put my mind in there let it not be as if it's just all about money since i'm working and he's working i'm making my money I'm not complaining. I'm not asking him for money. He's not doing any investment. But the thing is that at times my husband does travel to Ogun State. Either he will say that he's going there for official assignment or he says he will say that he's going to see his parents. And me myself, I have nothing against it. I don't have anything in mind against it. Because he has every reason to be there. His parents is there. His people, his people are there. It's not until one fateful day, when a friend of mine called me, that she saw my husband at Ogun State with a lady and four kids that she don't know, that she didn't approach him though, but she's just like asking, maybe is that his sister? You know, she said when she told me that I was that like, you saw your husband with yes, a woman, yes, at, and four children, yes, at August State, two boys, two girls. So when she told me that, I didn't, I was, I wasn't bothered because I felt uh, it, she could be anybody. You understand? But when I got home that day, because I was at work, when I got home, I started calculating. I was like, let me just wait till he comes back. Let me see if he give me. Let's see if we are going to discuss something like a woman that he ran, he, he met a lady with four kids, or let me see if we bring up the something like that. But when my husband got back, I didn't hear such, I didn't hear such from him, so I kept quiet. The up after two weeks again, he told me that he was going to go state on official on official assignment. I said okay. What I did was I called my friend. I decided to investigate. I called my friend to help me and watch um help me and monitor him you know i just gave her the necessary details that she needed to monitor my husband and help me f make some foundings because i was already t ha having it in mind that maybe my husband have a side check that he's spending all his money that was all i have in mind I was shocked when my my friend got back uh, uh, told me that my husband has been married with four kids. That her finding she find out that my husband is married with four children, two boys, two girls, and his people is aware of it. Okay, I was like, okay, I I and I told her I pleaded with her to just snap pictures. And I wanted to be sure. I don't. I just don't want to run into conclusion. And I called my husband's sister indirectly because we are, I'm very close to her. I called her indirectly. I was like, "Is your brother married?" She said, "Ah, how would I think it? How would I think of a thing like that? The brother is not married. 
why would the brother be married and still come to Mar marry me? I said, okay, no problem. So what I did was I tried to find out through my husband's phone. And now, whenever he's sleeping, I will take his phone. He's, he uses fingerprints. I will use his hands. And because he's this kind of a person that whenever he sleeps, he's off. If he's off, he's off. I will use his hands and open. He will use his fingerprint, open the phone. Then me, I will go the, through the phone. That was when I came to realize that my three different my on three occasions that i had miscarriage that my husband was responsible for it he was discussing with his friend that that I, i'm doing everything possible within my my power to have a child but he doesn't want it because he was okay with the, the kids he has already and me myself thinking that there is something wrong with me going from one hospital to another i never knew that my husband was the one the one in as in, in charge of my miscarriages okay he you uh, always have miscarriage yes we this is our four years now we will be four years few months time in this in, uh, together with him and i've had miscarriage three different times i never knew he was the one the one that has been doing this to me just because he don't want me to have a child for him okay and he is even telling his friend that he's making plans to leave the country with his family. He's even building a house at Ogun State, and I don't know anything about it. So my, when my friend went to, my friend, at a point, my friend went to make the wife, as in, she started going close to the woman. When she find out the woman is a hairdresser, she went to the woman's shop to make her hair. From there, you know, she started she started getting very close to her just because she wanted to get more information from the woman. The woman told my friend that she, that she and her husband has been married for long. Even their first son is nine years old. Nine years old, their first child. Oh, God. I was shocked. Uh, and when you people have married for four years. Yes. Me standing here today is just because I summon courage and I just want to speak out. I just want to pour it out because having it in me is just, I just feel like, ah, oh God. So when, when, when my friend called me, she said, the woman said that they have nine years, their first child is nine years old, that the husband, she got husband when they were, she got pregnant when they were dating along the line. She, the husband had to marry her. That was how they, got married and she started having kids four children that you know they started gisting they started she said a, lo a whole lot of things that the husband is based in lagos that the husband is working he only visits them that the husband has office work ah I, that was when it dawned on me that my i am this i am the office i am i am in fact i am that job that pays this man because practically everything my dad even gave him a car my dad gave him a car when he handed the house over to him see today my dad i, I can't even bring myself to go to my father to tell my father about this because he warned me he told me he warned he warned me he cautioned me he was saying it but i didn't listen to him i was just blinded by foolish love by stupid love and look at it today i'm the one suffering it this guy now is about to leave me he's making plans he wants to look and he's still to. checking his phone he don't know that you know all these things he's not aware of anything presently he don't even know that i'm aware of all his dealings he doesn't know that i find out that he's married he doesn't know that i find out that he's building and he's planning to leave the country with his family so i just don't know what to do to him I'm just thinking, you know, my friend advised me that since I be bo babe, that I should travel, I should just go to one or two places, go and put his name there, whatever he's seen, he should take it. But me, and you I'm, should, you should ah, put his, uh, his name where? In shrine, in shrine. It, it, that is how our, our people do it. Um, despite my father is, is, is rich, but I'm, I'm this, I'm native, I'm a native lady. 
I'm a very typical native lady. I just don't know. I just want something that I want to destroy him so that in his next life, he will not toy with any ladies, any lady's feeling again. Because this man, this man has dealt with me. You see my money that he's spending? You see the miscarriages, the pains, the pains, the pains. I will take him before you know it. I will, I will, I will, I will, I will lose that child. Not knowing that this useless, foolish man is the one behind my predicaments. I just want you guys to just advise me on what to do to him. Because the only thing my mind is telling me to do to him is just to useless him in life. Just to make him useless. As in, let's him not be as oh god i don't oh god of me even last week i was so upset so upset when my friend called me to the extent that i have to drug his his uh, i have to drug him i have to put sleeping pills on his drink he slept. I was just like watching him. I was just looking at him from head to toe. I was just imagining. Is it that should I just make him let him just life lie, lie permanently lifeless? The way he was lying at that moment, I was like contemplating should I just pour acid on him or should I just use knife to cut off his manhood? Because he really ah he really touched me where what he did to me, eh? To today, I can't even bring myself to tell anybody about it. It's just myself and my friend that is aware of all this that is happening. So I just said, let me come out to come and seek advice. Whatever you people tells me, I will do. I will be in a comment section. I will be, I will be listening to everybody. I will be seeing everybody's comment because... Uh, the truth is that I can't just let this man go because he has dealt with me. He dealt with me because he felt that he can. So me, myself, I want to deal with him to show him the power of a woman that he cannot toy with every woman around him and just go school. Until today, the wife doesn't even know that this man is married to me. The parent is is aware of everything but they are not saying they didn't tell me they didn't tell the wife they're just playing along with them with him whenever i call the mom we'll talk normal he won't me all this yeah will how are you doing if whenever i lose my pregnancy like this she will be like consoling me and, and i'm sure her par his parents know about the about the woman. whole thing about my miscarriages about their their sons acting everything you people should just advise me on what to do please just please. advise me please guys things they happen for this life oh. i keep saying men get mind this is the reason some women if they have they will not have that mind to help their man because you don't know the one you will finish helping the man tomorrow now will start misbehaving oh, God. oh no this guy that's in the man game mind he has family somewhere Okay, even if he has family, doesn't mean he will be um, making as in doing whatsoever he's doing for you to please calm down, for you to lose the baby. All these three miscarriages. So you will, ha will not have your own children because he has four already. That is my main problem. Had it been this man just left me just for me to carry my kids, have my kids, even if it's one or two, you understand? At least I will see something that I will be using to endure as in i will use that one to to endure the whole pain but the fact that i know that is the same man that got me pregnant that that terminated the babies ah, is killing is killing ah. killing the thought of it is killing me is killing me day by day oh my more people gave my some men gave mind they will just open office on a woman's head because this is what that guy did. Upon all the favor you did for him, he's driving today because of you. If your dad, we have, ah, if your dad hear this one, eh? If my dad hears this, if my dad gets to know, ah, he will rot in jail. My dad will do everything within his power to make sure that he doesn't see the surface of this earth again. I, but I just want to do him something. I just want to do deal with him on my own. I just want to treat him as in, I just want him to be alive and be begging for debt. That is the only thing on my mind right now. <sighs> Guys, please drop your opinion on the comment section. And you that is watching this video, please. Hey, God. If you don't love a woman, why are you playing with her heart? This is going to men. And women should be very careful. Monitor your partner. Yes. It's good to love your partner, but 
Sometimes, if not that your 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 friend uh, cash him, you will not know. I wouldn't have. The known. next thing you hear that this man has traveled yes. out of the. Country. I would have been in this country, and it would dawn on me that ah, once marriage is single, I would just be dumped, used, you just know? like that. He just betrayed the trust I have for him. He just used me like ah, God. Guys, please drop your opinion for her in the comment section. More things that happen for this life for people get mind. What 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 does some people earn in making people so is woman be that make you to be as a wicked? Oh my, I never see you. Hmm. Please share this video. Thanks for watching.